Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So we're here with Rob from Former Hoof, um, and we're going over the, the application of a of a Former Hoof. So if you're not familiar with what Former Hoof is, uh, one second. Okay, so we've got a couple of examples of um, Former Hoof that we did on a um, on a sort of hoof model, um, and, and and what it is is a polyurethane sort of skin that goes over the hoof and it sort of encases the entire hoof capsule. Um, it basically sort of rebuilds the hoof structures and allows you to either you know remain barefoot or go down the lines of actually putting a shoe on there as well but um, so these are a type of uh, endurance model uh, or you know a horse that's doing a fair bit of, or, of work on a sort of softer softer surface and needs that little bit of extra traction so we've got these sort of studs on the bottom um, and we've also got another example here of um, how you can actually apply a shoe to it in order to preserve uh, the former hoof sort of mold um, and also give you that little bit of uh, more protection on the bottom of the foot. So what we're going to do today, we're just going to go over the application uh, process of it um, and we're going to trial it on uh, an endurance horse. You, you might have seen a couple of my posts on Insta Instagram where we've trialed it on a couple of uh, broodmares um, in order to just sort of help them. You know, broodmares typically have sort of poor quality horn and especially towards the end of their pregnancy when they're carrying a little bit more weight, they go a little bit more foot sore and especially on sort of stony gravelly ground. So. Um, so we've used former hoof in that context. Now we're gonna try it on an endurance horse. So what we're gonna do, we've done half the horse here today. We're gonna to do the other half uh, now. We're gonna show you uh, the process of it and then we'll take her out and we'll see how she gets on with them. So let's get to it. Forward, aren't they? Yeah, well, you can roll them back towards you as much as you want. Yeah? Yeah, because you're going to seal them. So seal them to where you want. Them. Yeah. Because he's not going to be walking on them, you just want them growing straight. Yeah, that's better. This medication just. These areas, really good antibacterial. It just keeps that frog and everything nice and clean. Stops any bacteria getting going. Okay, so before we, get, we go any further, we've taken the shoes off, uh, we've cleaned the foot up and we've, we've trimmed it. Um, and as you can see, we've roughened up a lot of this hoof wall, especially on that, the dorsal hoof wall around the front here. So we've had a little bit area of, um, maybe a little bit of white line disease in there possibly that we've resected it out but as you can see we've roughened up all the dorsal hoof wall just to help um, the urethane sort of bond to that hoof wall and really grip on. Um, we've got a nice bevel around the toe edge, sort of mustang roll right around the toe in order to sort of help when we're, when we're putting the material on there in order to get as much material around that toe to help protect the toe and give you as much wear as you possibly can. Trim you want as well. Um, but it's also the sort of barefoot trim, the trim, you, trim you want, you want to get that toe back nice. Um, yeah, we've just put a little bit of topical treatment on there just to seal that frog and help prevent any sort of bacteria that may build up over time. Mesh wise, the mesh over the top, we folding here, and that makes it nice and square. The mold goes on here making sure it doesn't slide back and then we can let the horse sit down in it and let it stand down pushes itself into the mold yeah it pushes itself in so we're just going to look to lift up these edges make sure that mesh is all the way down and then we're stuffing the mesh into the back here we're looking for we've got plenty of mesh here that will use it a good overall strength. So what's the point of that mesh, Rob? Structural support. It takes some of the stress off the urethane itself and gives that structural, uh, allowing the foot to still move, but it stops the plastic from wanting to tear. And this is the mould. Um, so this mould has been designed uh, and 3D printed um, to a generic foot shape. Um, How many hooves did you test? Didn't you do Thousands? <laughs> Yeah, we did. We scanned, we 3D scanned a lot of feet to get what was a really good shape. And then that's how we, we came to a balanced capsule. And from there, the urethane fills that void in between. 
Pledge of Oh yes. Right there, that's it, nice. You can see it running over the top. Now, ready to jump up and do the next one. one. Now I put a little bit in that one. This one here. Yeah, there's a little back pressure yeah, out there. Yeah, I can see that. All right. Good. Yeah, got it. Yep. Yes, it's running out nice. Okay, skip that one. Now that the urethane is filling the void between the foot and the mould, so that's how it creates the shape. Is that one, yeah, good. Now this one. Now you're going to pop a fair bit in here because it's a high stress point. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, good, keep going, yeah that one. Okay, next one. Keep going, keep going, and stop. Righto, now what we're looking for is a little bit in the back here. We're looking for this material to be, there we go, that's good. Now what we're looking for is this material here to be hard enough to take weight. So see it's already hard, so we can pop them and we're going to let them stand down in it. While it's still a little bit soft, okay, now we're going to shoot the sides. Oh. Good. Yep. There you probably have the material. I'll go here, yeah. there's for you. Satisfying isn't it when you see it sort of spread around the floor. Yeah. Lovely. This one. Now what you can do is just drive it in beside it. Okay, so that's that's the urethane in. So we'll now just leave this for a few minutes, let it set till all this has gone really hard. Straight away, it's already firm. Look, sort of get a nail in, so, but you can feel it's starting to get nice and warm. So the cure and sage is happening now, and it'll it'll set in a few minutes. What was the, what what started the former hoof? What, what was the idea behind it? Uh, I was working in Econ Hospital, and as part of my job, I was rebuilding a lot of feet. So we just lost foot mass, and so I needed a way of rebuilding feet rapidly so through a, uh, a series of uh, inductions and, and trial and error we got to this and is this a, an application that you can put on any horse or is it yeah or is it for, for, for feet that sort of you need to rebuild whether it be a glue on shoe or you know some sort of casting of any description well it depends what like horses for courses if you got a horse that is okay barefoot and doesn't need anything uh, getting around that's okay but generally we ask a lot of our horses you know in competition and stuff and they need protection you know and they need you know a three-dimensional protection not just a rim fit so that this gives the horses you know total protection allows them to gallop over rocks and that sort of stuff and not have any stone bruises because you have that entire capsulation and we're trialing it today on uh, an endurance horse yeah you, you, you've tried this on other sort of performance horses yeah, yeah have yeah we've had success in a fair few different fields actually uh, some endurance some of the western stuff in the u.s um, some racing yeah great, great. and um and it's also been used for uh, sort of remedial shoeing, especially with uh, yeah. laminatic cases? Yeah, certainly. It's a good way to rebuild feet, especially when they're compromised. And that's quite often what laminized cases 
they suffer from the initial laminitis insult, but then it's the, it's the growing back of the feet where they quite often fall apart. So once you can get the laminitis under control, and then it's just about growing a foot again. Uh, so Fullmorph does that, you know, it gives it a really good capsule with a nice concavity in the foot and yeah, it just means that horses can have something functional on their feet pretty much straight away. And you're really helping that sole as well, you're getting that plenty of sole support which suppose, yeah. you know, a lot of horses will benefit from. Definitely, and, and I can put medication underneath it, so it means that I've got, you know, always got a nice sterile area for that frog and, and especially if you've got perforation of the sole and lemon ice, you can put, you know, some medication on that wound and then have it in place 24 hours a day, 7 days a week without having to change bandages regularly in. And that, from an animal husband point of view, means a lot less man hours and you know, a lot less hassle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I suppose another question that a lot of people are probably asking, how long do these last? Yeah, great question. Um, what, I, what I do to answer that question is, I generally work out in steps because endurance horses do a lot more steps than obviously a paddock horse. So these, these horses generally do about 180,000 strides or about 250Ks. Yeah, okay. But you, you, you'd happily say you could get at least a six week shearing cycle out of them? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I find that they fit right. This horse will actually nail a, a uh, plate too, as well. So they're designed to be feet. We didn't make another shoe. Uh, it's called Former Horse for a reason because we're just making new feet and then you protect that foot in whatever aspect you'd like. So you shoe it or you, or you think it's got enough material, you know, you can go ahead and let them barefoot. So uh, endurance, it's about doing miles. So we tack a light aluminium plate to it and it means you don't get any nails in the hoof wall, but you've got that structure that, and the wear that you get out of the plate. There you go. Oh. Look at that. They've got to give you good traction. Surely. Okay, so now the, the mould is off. That's what we're dealing with. So you can see all this excess mesh that can be trimmed off in a couple of minutes' time. You can just see how we've got a little bit of excess urethane around the top. But we've got that nice sort of glove all the way around the hoof capsule. And you've just seen the solar surface of it. So you've got all that extra protection, all that extra mass to the foot. And as and as Rob said, you know, we can even nail the shoe onto this now, or you can actually leave it leave it barefoot. Um, so yeah, we'll just give it a little tidy up now. What we are going to do, we're going to actually shape up some shoes. And because this is a, an endurance horse, it's going to be doing well, potentially 80 kilometers very soon. Um, we've opted to uh, put some shoes on. I'm just going to show you how, how we do that.
Okay, so the shoes are now nailed on. Um, they're nailed on, clenched up. I'll quickly show you them, but we're just gonna tack her up and Lawrence is gonna uh, take her off for a little bit of a, of a ride and see how she goes on these. Uh, but before he does that, I'll quickly just show you her feet. Now that they've been nailed on. The aluminium plates on and they are literally just for work. You know, so they fit the peripheral uh, outer border of the former hoof. The former hoof is encasing the hoof capsule and it's, it's put material where we want it so the shoe then doesn't need to give extra width or length. It just needs to fit that peripheral board in order to act as that work plate. So there they are. They're all nailed up. She's ready to go. So the perks of being a, a farrier and a rider is you get to test test your own horse with the shoes that you just put on. So do you feel the difference? Uh, yeah, but she's like, she, she's, fit. she's just fit. She's just fit, yeah. yeah. I need to go on like, straight work. Yeah. Like, yeah. You haven't got as much weight on there. Yes. So it's not as much. Yep. Not as pronounced, and you've got a really good heel land. So you put a tip up and hit the back of that foot just as it comes down. Yeah, you see it just. Yep, just tips up there. Yeah, tip, that's it. Yeah. And that's extending that stripe right, just that little bit further. Hmm. So it just floats that little bit further. Bit further than before, and it's not as. The coronation is nowhere near as bad as it was. No, absolutely not. Yeah, that's your body done. Take some weight now. Okay, so that's a wrap. That's um, the application of a former hoof with Rob, um, one of the guys behind it. Um, yeah, we'll do a follow up on this and just see how she gets on. Um, but yeah, another interesting shoe application method. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you on another video. Take it easy.